see now, they got off already. I'll come my mom come. Oh no. There's a woman. All the way from the biggest city of Lawton, Oklahoma. Through the mountains, through the desert, through the waters, through the hills, over the mountains. Amen. I praise the Lord for being here tonight. Y'all are awful quiet. I got church hangover. I don't know about you guys. I'm trying to get better today. Man, I couldn't get off my my recliner. I couldn't get going and I got behind. I got hit a Billy, but he still beat me here. But I'm here. I called him. He was at work. And I said, it's hot out there. He said, yeah, I'm about ready to lay on the floor at my work. But you know, I'm thankful for the word and for everybody that's been coming. I, uh, I have adopted three little boys through foster care, uh, uh, seven, four, and five. And uh, as I begin to raise them after I raised my grandchildren, uh, my children, my grandchildren, and, and now my great-grandchildren, I realize that when you put a word in them, and you give them a word, when I first started, it was warfare all the time. Well, it seemed like the devil got more glory than God did. But we, we persevered. Domingo was one of the, the, the littlest, the cutest one in our youth group. We had a lot of girls. I think he was the only boy, wasn't you? Yep. So all of his girls protected him. We wouldn't go to church and we wouldn't let nobody else look at him. We'd be, we'd be right there. And, and as I begin to, to, to realize the word that we put into our children, uh, uh, my little grand, grandbaby come up and he says, Grandma, we have aliens outside. And I, and I you know, I thought, well, he's playing. And he says, come out, you got to come see them. They're out by the fence. They're aliens. So I, I go out with him and we go by the fence and he said, I think they're going to fight. And, and so I can't imagine what he's talking about. Anyway, we got up to the fence and along, little, along the edge there, there was two praying mantis squaring off. And he said, see, there they are. They're aliens, which, you know, they look like aliens. And they look like they were going to fight. And I said, no, they're called praying mantis. And I said, and uh, they're going to bless her house because they're praying. They're not going to fight. And, and trying to instill the Lord in him. I said, they're fine. We're, our house and yard's okay. So I go back in, and about five days later, I'm in the kitchen, and he runs in, and he says, he says, Grandma, they're back. And I, don't, I didn't know what he was talking about, but he says, Grandma, they're back. And I said, what is back? He said, the guy's outside. And I don't know what he's talking about. So I follow him. And they were in a different area of the fence, and there they were. And he said, I just had to call you to, and tell you that they were back. He said, we're going to be all right. He said, there's, there's three praying Methodists. <laughs> he said, this time. <laughs> so children see things, and they listen. They have selective hearing. Amen? So if you see a praying mantis, you're okay. That praying Methodist is going to bless your house. But I want to give, I want to just exhort real tiny right now. In Genesis, we read about, we all should know this, that when Eve ate of the fruit and she gave it to Adam, they realized they were naked. Amen? Okay, when God came into the garden and, and he was looking for them, well, he knew where they were, but he was looking for them. And, and, and they knew that he was coming and, and they knew he was going to be there. They, it, the Bible says they made them clothing aprons out of a fig leaf. Amen? And that fig leaf represents man-made. 
Come on, come on. And they covered themselves. Amen? Yeah. And let me tell you, from the generation from that time to today, we have been covering ourselves with fig leaves. Amen? On, we've been not able to let God use his covering over us. Hallelujah. But we've been putting fig leaves on ourselves to cover ourselves. And it hasn't been of God, but it's been man-made. Hallelujah. And when I see that, something happened and quickened in my life. And then when I begin to read, I begin to realize that even though we have a fig leaf covering, we've had it all these years, then I realize that there came a curse against that fig leaf. There's no more covering. And when I realize, because when I begin to minister okay. the word, I say the Old Testament is prophetic word. New Testament is fulfillment. Amen? Okay. And when I read in the New Testament, hallelujah, okay. Jesus and his disciples were walking. Jesus got hungry. He saw a fig tree. Amen. And he went out. There was no fruit. And he said, I curse you, fig tree. Let me tell you what. Jesus cursed the fig leaf covering over us. No more do we have a covering. No more do we have an excuse. Hallelujah. No more can we find somebody else to do what we're supposed to do. No more will say, she does it better. She can do it. Amen. God give us a purpose in our life. God give us a, a journey to walk. Hallelujah. God give us an anointing in our life. We don't have no more fig leaf covering, but we got the covering of the Lord because God cursed that fig leaf. It didn't raise no more fruit because God said, I don't want no more covering among my people. I don't want them covering over man's doctrine. I don't want them covering over their opinions in the word of God. I want it to come from the anointing of God. Hallelujah. I thank God because that opened my eyes. I said, no more excuses, Lord. No more say she can do it better than I can. Let her do it. God is raising up leaders. Amen? He's raising up leaders. When you got leaders, they don't have to be told what to do. Amen? They don't have to tell them, you got to leave service. you got to do this or that. Under Speak the Word ministry, as I begin to teach, I tell them, if you see a job that needs to be in the church, go and do it. Amen? You don't have to be asked. You're a leader. Hallelujah. God is anointing our leaders. He's anointing the warriors in God. They're going to know how to fight. Amen? They're going to know how to use their sword. They're going to cut away their fig leaf covering. And they're going to have the covering of the anointed one. We're going to have the covering of the Father. I don't know about you, but when I say Abba, Abba Father, it does something inside of me, hallelujah, that I know that my word is not man-made. It's not Sunday school teaching, but it's for directly from the throne of God because it changed my life and it changed the way I thought and it changed the way I walked. And I thank God for that. I believe in miracles, amen. And I don't want to say all that, but I thank God for that.